Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's Deborah with Sew in the Sanctuary. So welcome back. And if you're new, welcome as well. I'm so glad you're here. Um, so it is the day after Thanksgiving and I'm looking out the window and it's just a really gloomy, kind of a rainy day. Um, so yeah, it's a good day to do things indoors. So I just finished putting away all of my Thanksgiving decor and I hope all of you had the best Thanksgiving. I hope that you had a chance to kind of just be with your family and your loved ones, your friends, and just appreciate the time that you have together. And so I hope that yours was amazing. We had a really good Thanksgiving as well. Uh, we had my mom and dad over, and we had Robbie's mom, my mother-in-law, my sister-in-law, my brother-in-law over. And so we were just able to have a nice, casual, nothing fancy, no expectation, just real relaxing and just uh, fun uh, time together. We were able just to kind of hang here at the house and uh, just just eat, enjoy a meal together and, and talk and laugh and, and cut up. And so, yeah, we had a great day and I hope you guys had a wonderful day as well. So, as I was putting away my Thanksgiving decor, I just, um, I'm really grateful for this time together. I, I'm thankful for uh, the year that Robbie and I had, the family time that we were able to spend together, all of the memories. And so, just kind of reflecting on the year that we have and just giving grace and thanks and, and just praise and glory to God for all that he's done for me and my family. So I just want to take a time to kind of just, just put this out there. Um, if you're waiting in a, in a season where you're just waiting for God to answer a prayer or to, um, to, to give a healing or just something that you've been praying for for a long time and, you know, it's the unknown, you don't know if it's going to come true or not, I would just give you words of encouragement. I would just want to say to you, um, just continue to pray, continue to be, I guess, having that desire in your heart, but also knowing that God will deliver when it's His timing. And I know that that is so hard to understand. I know that there has been many things that we've prayed for here for our family and just the unknown of knowing if and when it's going to be answered. It can be a little bit of intimidation there for, for anyone. Um, and so I would just encourage you and give you strength during this time and just encourage you to hope and to pray and just know that God will deliver um, in his timing. So I just felt like that was something I wanted to say. It was heavy on my heart and so I just wanted to share that. And so, today we are going to just enjoy time indoors. Robbie's out in the shop finishing up the steps, the stairs project. So, hopefully I can share that with you today um, or in maybe some upcoming videos. Uh, but yeah, today I'm just going to get out the Christmas tree, some Christmas decor, and we're just going to have a fun day together celebrating and remembering God during this time and just knowing that's what's coming and um, yeah, so we're just going to do a little bit of Christmas decorating. And so um, before we do that, I just want to let you know that this year we're going to be simple with it. We're not going to go all out. In years past, Robbie and I, we tend to go a little extra with Christmas decor and just the Christmas holiday season. And so this year our motto is keep it simple. Simple is more. And so we're not going to do a whole lot of outside decorating. Uh, <laughs> Typically, Robbie goes all out with the lights. I mean, he's like the National Lampoon's uh, Christmas movie kind of a thing. I always kind of kid him about it, um, you know, when he does the outside lights because it's a little, it's a little extra. <laughs> and so, this year, we're not going to do all of that. We've kind of talked about it just because of upcoming projects we have in the next couple of weeks and just things that we want to do. Um, and time that we want to spend. So yeah, we're just going to kind of keep it simple this year. We're not going to go all out. Um, and so yeah, I'm going to kind of share with you some of those simple ideas. So yeah, that's what we're going to do today.
All right, so I am done decorating and I am very happy with the way that things turned out. So getting back to the simplicity idea of decorating this year, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my thought process. So this year, I really just wanted to concentrate solely on my favorite pieces. And I've kind of made that my focal point. So I wanna talk to you first about my mantle. So this is different. I did not do this last year, and this is the first year that I've actually done this. So I wanted it to be kind of like bringing the outdoors in. We live in the middle of, I guess you could say like the woods. And so I kind of just wanted to bring kind of the woods indoors. And so I have a lot of these Christmas trees. Um, I actually got these, I think from Target. Yeah, I got them from Target last year. Um, I love Target. So if you go into Target, um, here in Georgia, they have like this dollar section and it's like, if it's not a dollar, it's, it's reasonable. It's, it's the lower um, prices. And so I actually got these trees last year from Target. And so this year I was like, I want to bring the outdoors in. I want to keep it simple. I want it to be kind of real to in the, the environment in which we live. So this is kind of my inspiration. I have these Christmas trees. They have a little bit of glitter, a little bit of bling, I guess you could say. And so I've kind of brought those into this. My mother-in-law made me these precious bows last year, the red truck. Um, that was my theme, I guess, last year pretty heavily. And so I put some lights up here. I have my pine cones to kind of bring out that outdoor element. I have my favorite, favorite wreath. I absolutely love that thing. So I was able to put it up on a nail. And it just creates this simple yet elegant look. I love these white um, frames here. They kind of remind me of like a church window. And so to me, it's just really, really beautiful. And I love the way that this turned out. So I'm very, very much happy about that. All right, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about my fireplace as well. We love our fires in the wintertime. So it's not very, I guess, um, practical for us to hang our stockings. So we actually hang our stockings on this um, staircase. So I have put some garland. You can see that I have hung the garland around the staircase and I have just attached my stockings by just kind of making the the greenery of the um I, I just mainly just made the twine and the greenery kind of go in and I looped it through my stockings so it just kind of creates a very um whimsical kind of look in my opinion and it's it's a great place to hang our stockings since the fireplace obviously isn't going to work for me all right, and so another thing I wanted to talk to you about, I love like the plaids and the reds. I love the truck again. So you can see here, I have my truck. I have my little Santa Claus. Um, I love the little soldier boy here in the plaid. So I just kind of, I try to pick out what I really loved this year. I kind of let that be my compliment pieces and I just really wanted to accent those. I didn't want to, Put a lot of frou-frou into this year. I just really use the pieces that I loved and let that be the focal point, if you will. So, um, trees, same thing. I didn't add any ornaments this year. I just kept the greenery, add a little color through my Santa Claus decor here, and I love, love, love it. So, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, and then I want to talk to you here about my centerpiece on my coffee table. So, this is the basket that I normally use um, on my coffee table. And these are the little vases. They're blue, and I love, love, love these. So I've kind of just kept them. And my sons, actually, I want to say like two weekends ago, they were so precious. They came inside with these pine cones. And the, I mean, this pine cone is huge. Look how big this joker is. And so I was like, man, that's amazing. So I actually just kept it here. I actually kept it here through the Thanksgiving season. I used that as some of my decor as well. Um, and I thought, why not? I'm gonna use it for Christmas too. So I've just kept those as my centerpieces here. I've added a little bit of color through my ornaments and I've put my red truck here cause I love the, the truck. I've added me a little bow here and then I've just left, I left in my regular decor and I just added these little red berries. So to bring up, to bring out the Christmas 
colors. And so I love, love, love it. Again, it's all about being simple yet elegant. So I'm super in love the way that things turned out. Um, this right here is my two-tier piece on my dining room table. I absolutely love Mr. Claus and Mrs. Claus. This is like the classic Target staple, if you will. I have the um, Thanksgiving version as well. And so Christmas, it always becomes a part of my dining room table. I added them here. I've put in my little Christmas decor to kind of spruce it up. And yeah, I just used what I had. So I love it. Um, also, um, I would encourage you to kind of bring out your favorite, favorite dishes. I absolutely love, I have this brown edition. Um, my mother-in-law actually gave me this um, dish set. These are the dishes that my mom had. And these are the same exact dishes that I actually grew up on. So when I told my mother-in-law that, she gave me the entire set. And so I absolutely love it. I love the browns. I love how it kind of, I just love that. And so what I've done is I've added the, the red to kind of bring out the Christmas spirit. And so I have my Christmas trees up there. I have my Santa Claus down below. I have my red truck on my microwave. And so, yeah, I'm happy the way that things turned out this year. So again, um, just very simplistic yet elegant. So I'm pretty happy the way that things did turn out. And this right here is my tree in the foyer. This is my little farm fresh tree in my little galvanized bucket. I've put just a few Christmas ornaments on it, nothing overbearing. I have my little plot plaid, little gnomes here again with my plaid Santa Claus. So yeah, love it, love it. So super, super excited. Christmas is in my house now. So we are officially Christmas decor ready. And I would just encourage you if you're wanting to kind of go for the simplicity of Christmas this year to just, again, pick out those pieces that you absolutely love and let those be your focal points as well. So cool, cool. So as I told you earlier, it is super, super cloudy here. It has rained practically most of the day. Um, I can see the fog. Oop, I miss a. I missed this. Darn it! I gotta take that off the gate. That's actually a Thanksgiving wreath. So, hey girl, I gotta get that off. I can see the fog. It's just been kind of a cloudy day here. I can see the the fog out there in the field. You can see dusk is setting in. All right, I hope there's some good lighting out here. I'm gonna show you guys what Robbie's accomplished. All right, so we are over here. Wow, look at this, progress, man. Woo, he's been working hard, y'all. So he's got the steps. Looks like he's doing the railing beams. I don't know if you guys can see it very well. Once we get electrical in here, it'll be a lot better. But right now, this is what we're working with. We're going to do electrical, hopefully, after we finish this uh, stairs project. But, yeah, he's getting a lot done. Man. So, he's getting the railing set. He's got the stairs in. Going up to the secondary platform. More stairs up to the first platform. He's got the railing here. And it looks like he's just going to have to cap it off. Right, babe? Well, I got to make what you got to do next? I got to finish it. Well, <laughs> so how, what gotta do you got to do next? I got to put this, I got to put top rail or top rail, bottom rail, and then your goat wire, I guess what you call it, goat wire. Oh, so you're going to enclose it. Nice. Yes, I got to use it. I'm gonna Dang, make, you're going all out, buddy. Well, I, I got to. I, gotta, I got to because it's got to go past code. Oh. So, yeah. All right, so it looks like it's gonna be ready to be done here pretty shortly. I gotta do another sheet of this. What it looks to be. This is, we already had that, right? Yeah, that was just crap. Yeah, it's all about using what you have. And I would just encourage you guys, um, if you're in the middle of a project or you're, you know, it could be Christmas decorating, it could be 
in the middle of a project, whatever, whatever it is that you and yours are doing, we would just encourage you really, truly to use what you have. Um, that's kind of what I did this year with my Christmas decorations. I kind of just highlighted those favorite pieces that I truly, truly love. And those are the pieces that I wanted to highlight. And I guess out here, same principle. He's using what he has. We had this, um, what's this chicken wire, right? Uh, goat, wire. goat wire, I'm sorry. This is the goat wire. We actually used some of this for our garden project this past summer. We had some of that left over. And so, you know, instead of it going to waste, he's gonna use it for this project to make the, um, instead of having pickets, he's going to use that to kind of replace the idea of pickets to finish off this railing. And so that's gonna be super, super cool. And again, it kind of goes with our decor. It kind of fits the environment in which we live. And so, so yeah, I would just encourage you to kind of do the same. Um, so yeah, this has been a fun day of decorating and creating. We're very, I guess, creative people. We like to be artistic. And so I just had loads of fun. And so I would encourage you today whenever you, if you've not already started your decorating process, I would encourage you to have fun with it, be artistic and just create a space that just symbolizes you and what you're all about. And we will talk to you soon. And as always, make sure that you are sowing a seed to create your beautiful sanctuary. Talk to you soon, guys. Bye.